everyone. In this video, I will show you how you may add a listing file before we receive your listing from your board. First, you will need to log in into your Next Ones account. Once you are logged in, you will need to go into the Listings tab, which is located on the top left corner of the page. Once you're in your Listings tab, you will see on the top left hand side of the page a green button with a link that says Add right underneath the Listings tab. By clicking the Add button, you will see the Listings profile. The first status that will be displayed is the Kit status. This status must be used until your listing agreement is fully signed. If you already have your MLS number, make sure to input it in the MLS number field. On the right hand side, you will see different fields to fill in the address. When you're using the kit status, there is no mandatory fields to enter, but to help you recognize which listing file it is, I strongly suggest you to input at least part of the listing address. So, in my city field, I can select which city my listing is in, put in the street number, and street name. At this point, this information is sufficient for you to recognize your file. The other field I suggest you to go in and select is the property type. Depending on which board you're with, we don't always receive that information. So please make sure to select the right property type. You will see in the next tab, your name will be displayed. In the Clients tab, make sure to add your client's first name and last name by clicking the Add a Client link. Once you click on the Note tab, you will see at the bottom right hand side of the page a button Save. Wait until you get your green confirmation message. This will confirm you that your file has been saved successfully. Now remember, at this point, your office does not have access to your file since it's still in draft mode. When you're looking at your list, make sure to identify which listing it is and click on the address to edit your file by using the Edit button on the top right hand side. You will need to add the MLS number as soon as your MLS listing input is done. By doing so, you will avoid creating duplicate files. Remember when you're adding your MLS number in the MLS number field located on the left hand side of the page, to save the information once you're done. By scrolling down at the bottom right of the page, you will see the Save button. The next morning when we receive the feed from your board, the rest of the information will be completed. Thank you for looking at this video.